Hello! Um, we kind of got crotch cam going on, um, but we're going to look at this. Uh, this is my new Airfix project. I've, I've mentioned this. I have done the, this was what the testing, the blue and the white, uh, sorry, the red and the white paint test on the Harrier was all about. The Fallen Nat. Um, let's open it up and take a look. Now, th it kind of came like this. I bought this from a store, um, a well-known high street hobby store. Um, and it's kind of come and it's open. I didn't notice that in the shop. Um, I hope it's not a return. So what do we get? We get a big bag of sprues. Oh, okay. The decals. So, right, let me just get this out of the way. Okay, Steam Geezer and Sun, you, you, you've got me on this one. You say decal, okay. I've always said decal, okay. Now, I say decal for these. And I've always said decal um, in regards items coming in computer games where there are small markers on the walls. They're decals, not decals to me. Um, but anyway, as decals go, we've got um, two options on the box. We have uh, the Oscar EW5894 Phallus Tactical Fighter Bomber from the USS Essex. Mediterranean Gulf 1991. So that, I'm impressed that this was in service with the US Navy in 1991. Um, I didn't know that. That means it's potentially been at the first Gulf War. Uh, but the one we're going for is number four, Flying Training School, Royal Air Force Valley, uh, Anglesey, Wales. Because I've been on holiday to Anglesey, I like Anglesey, I think I've been, I've been three or four times, I used to go as a kid as well. Um, so we'll be using the RAF uh, stickers. Let me show you them on here. So um, this may look a bit blurry, but it isn't. It's it's quite nice. Um, this is a fixed focal length um, camera, by the way. It's a HD camera, unlike the other one where I had to fiddle with the with the lens. So I'm quite impressed with that. I'm not sure um, all of these are required. Obviously, this is the uh, EW 5894 below the line um, but the number we're given for RAF Anglesey is XS100 so we have XS100 um, quite a nice little sheet um, I'm sure it will be up to the normal standard uh, common is of course the cockpit there are two cockpit layouts so whether there are two actual seats I don't actually know I'm guessing there are there are two heads in there single bag of sprues, there's the clear parts, um, unfortunately it's not a ziplock bag so it's not reusable. Let's have a look what we've got inside. We have got two sprues and the clear sprue, that's a big canopy, the biggest single piece canopy I've seen in a while. I'll leave it in there. I hope it fits well. It looks nice. I mean, uh, there's a single band of white forward and over the top of that, and it looks quite well molded. There's a little bit of flashing on that side, but it's fine. Uh, here's the main pieces there. This is the main body. There is some really nice detail on there. If I get the angle right, you can probably make some of it out. There's some nice detail on all the pieces. A little bit of flashing on this one. A little bit of flashing up here. Um, Airfix have made an effort with some of their jet pilots. They're not bad pilots. They won't go in. I'll try and pose this without them. Um, I obviously do not recognize any of these parts beyond the main fuselage pieces. Uh, so the tail, the actual tail, is it's, it's fused onto the one side. It's fused onto that one side, so you're going to have to assemble the whole thing. We've got some nice detail in the cockpit in there. You can just make it out, both sides. A little bit of flashing here. We can see that, definitely. See a bit of flashing. See it there? That tab there shouldn't be there. That is just flash. But, overall, not bad. Not bad detail. Um, my painting strategy will probably be to do the white layers first. So let's have a look at the instructions. I'm guessing these are just going to be standard 
Airfix instructions, so I'm going to skip to the paint scheme. Okay, they've got black on the nose. So they've got black on the nose just here. I didn't know that. Um, so we're going to have matte black. We've got silvers. Silver on the underside of the wing. Interesting. I didn't know that either. So it's a mix. It's a real mix. We're going to have to probably do this in several stages. We're going to have to mask this edge to get a perfect edge for the uh, red to silver match. We're going to. I'm going to mask this in to get this white perfect. So it's going to be a case of doing the white. So all the tail, this upper surface, these parts of the wing, absolutely perfectly, and then around the forward part of the upper fuselage and the nose cone. Not the, not this, uh, I'm going to guess that's a fueling probe. But yeah, that's my plan. That is my uh, six minute quick opening of the Folland Nat from Airfix. This is my um, next project. Just looking at everything else. Um, I'm going to spend some time, I'm going to wash these now. These will get washed in uh, warm water, a little bit of uh, soap, possibly a little bit of vinegar as well. They'll then be rinsed in cold water, um, shaken to get the excess off, and then left to air dry on that very windowsill. Um, beyond that, I'm going to read all of this because, um, you know, it's an interesting challenge. Obviously, the US markings. Uh, they've gone for, I'm not sure why, this is to make the rocket pods. I'm sure that is on the de decal sheet. Yeah, they're here on the decal sheet. So those teardrops are all decal decals. Don't like that as an idea. Hang on a minute. Yeah, it's not the USS Essex, which I thought it was. It's the USS Essex? USS's. SS. The USS SS. I will look that one up. Um, let's just have a quick peek at my. <coughs> excuse me. Desktop. Um, so, this is some of the background material um, I've gone through. I have considered doing it in the yellow. Um, and I don't like it. I was looking maybe at doing the whole thing in red. Um, obviously, the fallen gnat was used by the Red Arrows before they took up the Hawk. Um, but I'd, I'd want the diversity of the white and red. And obviously now I know it's it's yellow. Um, other ones are more yeah, more silver, sorry. Not yellow, more silver. Um, this one's minimising the silver. <laughs> But yeah, overall, it's it's my plan. Um, I've not seen this one, so uh, there is clearly a, a blue, grey, white scheme which I've not seen before. Uh, someone's clearly been kit bashing to get that one together. Here's some internal bits of a different one. I'm not even sure whose model kit that is. I'm going to guess this was an early one. So this is this is a, a decal set where they've got uh, for yellows, for the trainer kit that I've got, for a different trainer kit, which I believe is this one, and for a one with a blue underside, which I, again, not done. Uh, this is someone painting theirs on the sprue. Um, I don't think I'll be painting on the sprue. Um, I'm actually looking at the um, wings. It might be practicable to build the wings, I just noticed there is a, an imperfection there, a slight thing. Um, it might be possible to build um, these wings onto this um, under, and so do the silver and the white stripes to let them set completely before removing them and doing the red. Um, we'll see. But yeah, um, Folland Nat, that's my next project. This is part zero of that series. See you soon.